Hello and welcome again to this ASP.NET Core tutorial. While working on the performance of any web application, then we need to keep two things in mind. First is bundling and second is minification. In this video, we will understand how can we create the bundles in ASP.NET Core and how can we enable the minification in those files. Let's open the Visual Studio. Here we are back to our bookstore web application and if I expand this www root folder then here you can see that we are using this site.css file. Now suppose along with this file I want to add one more file in this application and that is also a very common thing. Okay, so let's add a new file. Let's use this style sheet. Let's enter any name. Suppose here I am writing new style. Okay, and inside this file, let's add some dummy CSS. So here I'm writing dot like this, and suppose the color is blue, whatever CSS you want to add over here. And now suppose I want to add these two files on our page. Let's open the layout file. Here you can see that we are using this site.css like this. Now if I want to use this new style also, then I can simply drag and drop it over here. When this page will get rendered in the browser of the user, then the server will send two separate requests. One request for this site.css and second request for this new style.css. The problem with this approach is that to get these files, server has to send multiple requests on the server. And browser has a feature or limitation that it can send only a fixed number of requests in a particular time. Suppose on a particular page, we are using maybe 20 or 30 files. It may be CSS file or JS file or images. Now in order to get all the files in the page, the browser will send separate request for all these resources. But by using the concept of bundling, we can combine these files into one single file. And if you are using the minification, then the extra things that are available in your file, those will be removed and the size of your bundle file that will be reduced and that will improve the performance of your application. So let's learn how can we use the bundling and minification in ASP.NET Core. To work with the bundling and minification, we need to do two tasks. First is we need to add a new JSON file at the root level of this application. So let's do that first. Right click on the solution, choose add and click on the new item. Here you need to choose the JSON file. You can search for the JSON over here. So here you can see that we can use this JSON file and let's enter a name. The name is bundleconfig.json. Bundleconfig.json. Click on the add button. The first task is done. Now we need to install one package from NuGet in this application and the name of package is build bundle minifier. So let's right click on the solution and choose this manage NuGet package. Here we can search for this package like build bundle minifier. Click on this one and install this package in your application. It will ask for the permission. Click OK. And it is done. Now we have to create the bundles from all the files that you are using in this application. Let's open this bundle config.json file and over here let's remove this code. In one single file, we can create n number of bundles. So we have to use the concept of collection over here. So like this, and here we need to add one single object, something like this. The concept of bundle is very simple. We will use multiple files and we will combine all these files into one single file. At this point, we need two things, all the input files and one output file. So here we have to give a name for the output file and the name is output file name. Here you can see we have the key and over here you can define the path where this output file will get stored. Generally we put all the static files under this www root folder so you can give that path. And let's give it a name like site.min.css then what all input files are used to produce this output file we have to define all of them over here input files and remember bundling is the concept of combining multiple files into one so here since we are dealing with the multiple files so we have to use this collection again and at this point we can define the path of our input file in this scenario the path is let's copy this path from here paste it again let's open this folder 
so here we are using two files this is the site.css so here i can update the name like this and then by using the comma i can add my new file the name of the new file is newstyle.css let's copy the name paste it here and that's it let's build the solution and just focus what we got on the output window here you can see that the bundler is working first it is clearing the output of this bundle config.json and then again it is creating the new bundle config file in your application so let's see what we got here let's expand this one so under the css folder you can see we have one more file the name is site.min.css let's open this one here you can see couple of changes first this file has been minified automatically for us and if i open this site.css so this is the first class that is used in this site.css and again here also you can see that we have the same class so this is the minified file and if i go to the last of this file then we have the css from the second css file we have written this .netis class in the second css file and by using the concept of bundling we are having everything into one single file to deal with the minification we need to add couple of more configurations so let's open this bundle config.json file again and over here we can add the minify under this minify we have couple of properties the first property is enabled if it is true it means minification is enabled if it is false then the minification is not enabled it has one more property like rename locals if you want to rename your local variable then you can choose true otherwise false something like this now let's try to build this application again build is successful again let's go back to our new output file this time you can see that we have the code from both the files so here we have the code from the second one but this time this file is not minified why because we are using the false for this enabled property if you will use true over here then the minification will be enabled for you in the same manner you can create multiple bundles in your application so suppose you want to create one bundle for the js file simply copy this code put a comma then again paste this code and here again you can give the name of your output js file suppose it is js something like this and over here you can provide your input js files by using this one single bundle config.json file you can create n number of bundles in your application and by using this minify object and using these property you can enable or disable the minification in your application now suppose you want to create a bundle for all the files that are available under a folder then you can also create that like rule it means you can use the star over here and by using the star all the matching name will be available for the input files now we will learn how can we use this bundle in our application let's open the layout file now we have a situation over here if i use this site.min.css then i won't be able to debug the code properly because the minified file will get rendered on the browser we can solve this problem if we are using all the files in the development environment and in the non development environment we are using this bundled file we have already covered the concept of this environment tag in our application and by using these tags we can handle this situation so for the development we can use both the files so something like this let's cut it here paste it here again for the non development environment we can use this file the minified file something like this that's it the problem is resolved so this is how you can work with the minification and bundling in asp.net core to learn the concept of bundling and minification in asp.net core i would recommend to create multiple bundles in this application and use these multiple bundles in your application you can create n number of dummy css files also the js files and try to create multiple bundles from the css and the js files remember do not mix the file of js with the css files always create separate bundle for the css and the js one that is all in this video make sure to hit the like button your feedbacks in the comment section share this video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day